Good morning. It is... I don't even know what it is. It's another day. It's the morning after my second night at Lost Horse Campsite. Um, yesterday I climbed Copper, which is somewhere behind these trees. I'm looking at Pilot out in front. To pilot somewhere over there. Um, I was considering climbing Pilot today and not climbing Pilot today. I'm starting to run the walk with Fast Pack the Rock Wall Trail in three days. Um, one of which is biking there. So that's a short day, but still a day. So I've decided not to bag pilot today. Um, if it was like beautiful, crystal clear, I would definitely consider it, but it's not. Um, there's low hanging cloud and the sky is like a hazy blue, which from what I've learned so far from being here means that it's smoky out, but there's no clouds, which means that I'm gonna get to the top and there'll be like a tease of visibility and nothing great. So if I leave today, I get a full day in town to prep for the rock wall which is what I what I want now looking at it and seeing how I feel so I'm going to bike out today now I'm going to do something this morning because while well, my gear is wet and I mean I should dry it so I'll let the sun hit it um, so I'm going to go to Shadow Lake so today is going to be a relaxing tourist day and damn it I've earned it it has been a rough go um, everything's wet everything's like condensation I've been in a cloud for like three days straight four days whatever it's been um ball was hell um yesterday's scramble was like just not it wasn't what i was hoping for uh yeah 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 so we feel like eating breakfast today i'm just gonna go grab my lunch um food my yeah my eating's all messed up i'm gonna go grab my lunch food and maybe i'll just start cycling um yeah warm up a little bit because I'm cold everything's still wet even though everything was inside like like dry bags it's all just kind of damp and because I'm in a cloud I'm in a cloud I spent, I'm in a cloud my head's in the clouds all right I'm gonna stop rambling and start moving okay so I've made it to the part where I have to get off my bike and walk because bikes aren't allowed in this area unless it's fat biking in the winter don't ask why but parks I respect your rule so here's my bike now I didn't bring my um, bike lock, it's back in my frame pack, but I wouldn't have been able to fit it around any of these trees anyway. And I'm also noting that like, look how, look at this bike lock, like look at this, it's like, it's like a thousand feet long, very nice. 27 and a half. Um, yeah, so it looks like I'm the only one here without a mountain bike. Definitely the only one here without suspension, yeah. Cool, so my bike is somewhere back there, I'm sure I'll be able to find it. Head into Shadow Lake, which is, I think, about six kilometers from here, so it should take me about an hour. I think the visibility is actually better than my bargain today, so I think we're gonna get a really nice view of the face of Mount Ball that I couldn't see from my descent route, so it's all gonna be worth it. I'm very excited to actually see Ball and see, and, and to stand there and look at it and be like, you know, I, I was up there three days ago. And they'll be like, you were? <sighs> Maybe it was a dream. Maybe it was a nightmare. Yeah, apparently I'm at Shadow Lake Lock. Ooh, I want to go into the clearing and see what that looks like. Trail goes that way, but let's take a quick picture. Evidently, I am on the north shore of Shadow Lake. There's Shadow Lake. Uh, I am following the trail to what is defined as Lake Shore. Yeah, Shadow Lake is at an elevation of 1,845 meters above sea level. Uh, that's all I know about it. So we're gonna go and have a look. Amazing, looks just as good as Lake Louise. Not that I've seen Lake Louise, but Marine Lake at least. It's nice to do something a little bit more tame. Kind of different. I don't mind. Decent view from the trail. Quite beautiful. Wow, that actually is really nice. The Canadian experience continues. Good as it gets, baby. 
<laughs> Arch Canada has the red chairs. Can I get to the red chairs from here? Oh God. Is that? No. What is that? What am I looking? Oh, there's a waterfall. Oh my goodness. The distinctive shape of pilot. And now for sure I can tell that that's Brett. I don't know what this gorgeous pinnacle thing is. This I must figure out. Look at that. Oh. Wowza. Wow. Is that? Ah, Parks, you've done it again. Ah, you guys are the best. Keep it up. That is a view. So all of a sudden, it's immediately obvious to me what everything is. This is absolutely Mount Ball. That's Mount Ball, so I climbed that. That may be the most impressive, I mean, it, it looks just like this side, I think is probably more impressive, but the other side of this thing was also gnarly, and I, I climbed that. I climbed this mountain. This might be my proudest achievement in life, which is kind of sad, but also amazing at the same time. That's, that's a mountain. That's a, that is a mountain. Been sitting here for five minutes in awe. It's huge. Look how big that mountain is. Crazy. Crazy. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so glad I came here today so I'd be able to see what I accomplished. That's amazing. Wow. I didn't uh, have potato chips on the summit as I usually do when I'm proud of an ascent, but uh, I'm making up for it now. There, you want a commercial, Miss Vicky's? Made in Canada? Crafted in Canada, okay. Okay, here you go. There's your publicity shot there. So this rise in front of me from the elevation of the lake to the summit is one and a half kilometers high. God. Wow. Man, I, can you imagine if I had a view from there? Wow. Would I have had a view if I did it today? Yeah, I would have had a view if I did it today. Not much of a view, but it would have been a view. Would have been better than the view I got. Oh well. Oh. I was just thinking what would happen if a Serac fell. Ooh, black flag. That was really cool. back at the bike after a speedy transition I'm off again it's really cool it's really cool I don't know this is brilliant this is the best idea I've ever had probably yeah like top three not climbing pilot today was like top five because it would have been wet and anyway back to camp All right, we're back at the island in the sun. We just discovered that there is some play in the cassette um, on this guy. So that informs me exactly what has to happen today. I need to get to Banff and then take the bus to Canmark. I want to minimize the amount of riding on it with the cassette loose. Um, hopefully everything in there is dry. I think it's going to be nice and toasty in there. Um, hopefully the passport's dry. That was the last thing to get dry, the passport and my cycling underwear. So we will pack up, tear down, and head out, and then bike to Banff, and I get this fixed, and start preparing for the rock wall trail. That's the plan. I like to think that stuff like this isn't on purpose. Uh, it's probably not. 
sure I've dropped small pieces like that too, but it never hurts to pick them up. <laughs> 